Greetings, Sally Dean. She's the guys. It's here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I'm here in the kitchen with mom. She is right there, and Yasmin and Kate are over there too. Kate just got home from school. Mom and is going to be making something delicious tonight for my dinner. But she uh, she got some carrots from the garden. Wait, they're so cute with the little small. things like this. Yeah. They're cutting them off already. Yes. We didn't have a, like a proper photo shoot with them. Huh? Like I was gonna put them on the on the round cheese board thing, and it was gonna be really cute. Anyways, okay, fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, Mom is making lamb tonight, which is over here. And she's actually gonna make a reel about it because she's a real sensation. She she is famous. <laughs> Her reel last night has over eighteen thousand views. So okay, mom. You have to say in an hour. So Kay's laughing. Look at him. He's eating a muffin. You don't believe me. And um, so today we're gonna make a reel about this. So we're pretty excited about it. We have our lamb, we have our carrots. We have our carrots from the garden, then we have our supplemental carrots because um, mom didn't sacrifice any of the carrots in the garden. So they all are stubby and short. Because apparently you're supposed to sacrifice some of them so that the other ones have space and then they can grow. But we have this from the garden. We have some thyme, we have some uh, rosemary. And then we have our tomatoes paste or ground peeled tomatoes, chicken broth, beef broth. We have some red wine, salt, pepper, and olive oil. So that is what is happening right now. Oh, we're going to say goodbye to all this green stuff. What? All of that for those tiny little carrots? <laughs> yes. <laughs> all of these. They're tiny. For my tiny, tiny Oh my carrots. goodness. I need to take them off already because uh, I'm planting something else for fall. Oh, okay. And then mom's gonna make Korean bulgogi tonight for the boys, because and that's what this is because they're not gonna eat the lamb, unfortunately. So we're adding salt to the lamb. Mom's seasoning it up. Are you gonna put pepper too? Yeah. Ooh. So now mom is adding pepper to the lamb. Yummy. Now time for some olive oil. You guys, I'm filming a reel and this at the same time. But um, so far, no real measurements. Just, you know. We don't need measurements for this thing. Yes. Because just salt and you salt it as you want it. So now we're getting, oh wait, wait, wait. Mom put some olive oil in there. And mom just started throwing in the lamb. Oh my goodness gracious. It looks amazing. Okay, so our lamb is pretty much all done right there for now. And mom is cutting up carrots, onions, and we have some garlic as well. Oh, everything smells so good right now to you guys. I'm so hungry. All right, we have our carrots in there, the garlic and the onion, cooking up in the oil. Okay, so now we're adding the lamb shank back into the mixture of the carrots, onions, and garlic. And then we're gonna let them simmer there for like two hours. Okay, sorry guys, I'm doing some packaging over there. And then mom's cooking still. We have the lamb inside the blue pot. Mom's making the rice in here, some biryani. And then over here is the bulgogi for the boys. Mom's getting it all seasoned up and ready to cook. Oh, looks Yellow so good, guys. so pretty. All right, just got to the store. Let's go inside and check it out. Okay, let's check out these bags. We got some Anne Klein. Oh my gosh, I, that was aggressive. <laughs> Sorry, Anne Klein bag. Uh, oh, wait, sack. Okay, the sack. A lot of these are pleather. Um, is this B. Mikowski? Yeah. Oh, this is a B. Mikowski. This is actually kind of cute. Yeah. I'm not sure you, B. Mikowski. I will consider you. It has like some smudgy smudges, but we're gonna think about it because I kind of like that style. It's cute. Uh, let's see. Anything else? 
Little bow bag, kind of looks like a Valentino. What's over here? Cute little Zara basic bag. Uh, looking at the backpacks and luggage pieces. This is like a lucky? No, leap skinned. Oh, it's missing the strap. Oh, and the stitching's coming out. Nope. Okay. Oh, uh, this looks like Vince Camuto. This one kind of looks like um like a Chloe. Oh, is the strap broken? Oh, it is. Like all the bags here are broken. <laughs> At least all the ones that I want. Ooh, they have a ton of masks. Okay, let's see what else we can get our hands on. Ooh, look at this, like, what is this? Um, a radio flyer thing, but this is a fabric one. I have one of those metal ones for the boys. And we take it out when we walk around the neighborhood sometimes, which is super duper fun. They have one of those, I think that's a Studio McGee um, light pendant thing, which is cool. Oh my gosh, I have like the big versions of those. Well, actually, no, not anymore because I donated them. But um, I used to from back in the day. Oh, how much is this little stool thing? I can put a plant on here. 20 bucks. Oh, a Christmas train. Oh, a pineapple lamp. Karaoke? I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I do love karaoke. Look at the notebooks. I'm like, man, there are a lot of notebooks. Uh, young Hadrian would have been like so obsessed because I currently am to this day obsessed, or still obsessed with notebooks and pens, but like don't really use them anymore. So I just like to look at them. See if we can find any cool pillows or blankets. You know, right now is actually a really great time to look for like Christmas presents and stuff, because people love like blankets, and you can give those and be fantastic. Just looking to see what's over. Oh, look at that fish platter. That's kind of cool. There's also a giant headwig right there from Harry Potter. Love him. Let's see what's over here. Any cool mugs or cups or anything of that nature. This Minnie Mouse pillow is super cute. It's super soft too. Oh look at they have, when Zach was young he was obsessed with um, the crocodile from, well actually I think all three of them were pretty obsessed. I would have gotten that in a heartbeat but they're not as crazy about him anymore unfortunately but Oh, they grow up so quickly. <laughs> I just want to buy them toys still. Why? We have an existential crisis here at the Goodwill because the kids are growing up too quickly. It's okay. We're going to be okay. Let's just look for some more goodies. I found a Dyson vacuum here once. I'm always like looking for... Oh, is that like a one of those cleaner, like carpet cleaners? <gasps> Is that a ring? Oh no, it's a germ guardian. This is what I was looking for, the plates. You guys already know the plates. Ooh, Disneyland Resort 2020. Wow. I feel like Disneyland wasn't even open in 2020. But that's pretty cool. Why are these $10 though? They're a little pricey, but there's three of them. But wait, was Disneyland open, you guys, in 2020? At all? I feel like it was closed the whole year. Let me know down below if you guys know. Ooh, pretty. I like those flowers. <laughs> like I love yellow. Look at those like little pink vases. Oh, this is cool. Very pretty. I wonder if I could find a make on it or anything. Ooh. 
I'm always looking at the teacups too because I'm looking for like um, Hermes teacups because that is my dream to find an Hermes teacup. So if anyone has ever found one, please let me know. I'm gonna live vicariously through you until it happens for me. <laughs> All right, let's look at the glass. Oh, this is pretty. I always love looking at the glassware. Oh, the tchotchkes, the tchotchkes, the tchotchkes. Oh, look at that little dog. Hello. Oh, I thought that dog was wearing sunglasses, but I think someone just painted in the eyes. Looks like one of those Color Me Mind things. <gasps> I think I'm gonna buy this. This is fabulous. It's a little expensive at $17.99. But I feel like it's totally worth it. It's like a marble rainbow. Oh, okay, I think I'm just gonna lug this around with me because this is really pretty. And I am kind of obsessed. I mean, this is a Target piece from um, Studio McGee. Looks like it, so. Oh, I'm excited! Okay, first find so far. Uh, love it. Definitely. Oh, you know what? I'm also visiting my aunt's house. Um, next week so I kind of want to like and she knows like she lo she knows I love thrifting and she loves like the concept of thrifting though she hasn't actually gone yet herself and she loves hearing about the deals so I want to get her a little something for the house like something decorative and fun that I think she's gonna like so um, I was thinking like she loves like Mikasa I want to find her like some Mikasa crystal something or others, you know? Like maybe candlestick holders or something like that. Like even this would be really cute. Like I might even give her this. But if I find anything else I think she might like, I think I'm going to get that. So I still have the whole day to look before... Well, I have the whole day in the week. So um, we'll see if we can find anything cool for her. Because I think it would be really fun to give her some, like a fun, like little host hostess present for um, inviting us over to her home, and yeah, it'll be cute. I'm kind of obsessed with the shape of these. I just don't like that it has this thing. Like I know it's for like a cup or a bowl or something, but I don't, know, I don't like that. This is kind of cool. I like the color. That giant leaf. Oh, this. Thing with the flamingos is kind of cool. This looks like something they would sell at, um, what's that store called? Like TJ Maxx. But wait, this sleeping cat? I need this. I definitely need this. This sleeping cat. Jennifer 1995 made this. It's a little crackety cracked on the bottom. But we can get past that because it's on the bottom. I love this. I just want to put it on the floor somewhere. Oh my gosh, I need a, I need a shopping cart. Why is everything I have so big? A slight mission, but I got a cart. And now I'm going to go. Oh my gosh. There's a chocolate fondue fountain. An air fryer. Oh, one of those studio Mickey benches. Yes. Okay, you guys, this is amazing. I found this golden snitch clock. Oh my god, I can't even open it. This golden snitch clock from Pottery Barn Team. And it is beyond gorgeous. So I am super excited. It's like in the box still, which is crazy. Now I'm just trying not to break it since doing all this one handed. But um, I'm really excited. This is so cool. yellow look that just looking at the utensils and stuff sometimes you can find some really good brand new still utensils here okay so I know this is a boot tray but I kind of want this for repotting plants inside the house to like kind of keep it cleaner I think I might get one of these oh this is so cute Look at Kate, he's so good. He's putting away the dishes. Oh, he's a little seventh grader. Kate, I'm crying. 
kid. Look at me, I'm crying. My tears. I my tears. I've got no more tears left to cry. <laughs> Mom's reducing the sauce right now for um, the food. She's gonna plate it right there on the giant platter, and then I'm going to set up the table over there in a second. I just got back and going to the post office. It's time to plate. Yeah, I love the um, gyozas there. Me, you guys, I'm a little TikToker, real person. I'm recording this for mom because she's gonna become real famous. <laughs> you like that? Real famous, mom? Oh, yes. All right, these are gonna be my plates for the day. All of them are thrifted and all of them are beautiful. These are from Anthropology. They actually still sell them at Anthropology, just found out. So if you guys want these, Anthropology has them still. And then these are Isaac Mizrahi for Target plates that I got. And I'm going to use these as chargers. So I'm going to layer them like that. And then like that. I actually have a little plate that I might put in the middle. I'm not sure. But I have the bonjour, the matching little dessert plates to go on these as well. Okay, you guys. This is how we're looking so far. Beautiful. I'm so excited. Oh, my settings are so gorgeous. I'm so excited. Oh. Our signature drink for the evening is going to be this sparkling pink lemonade. Delicious from Trader Joe's. Everything here on this table is thrifted. Look at this beautiful table setting. I'm so excited for it. Uh, so happy. All right, now I'm going to bring the food over. and It's almost time to eat. We're just waiting for Dad to get home. You guys, Mom even made these twists. They're so good. They're so good. All right, you guys, I am all done cleaning up the kitchen. Um, everything is pretty much put away. Uh, I have all of the curtains tied up because I have narwhal mopping the floors, which is very exciting. But I wanted to do a quick little unboxing with you. So I bought a couple things today. Um, I didn't bring you guys with me because I was just running out really quickly. I went to the post office and then I went to Best Buy and I went to Target. So I went to Best Buy because I wanted to buy um, a case that had, uh, what is it called? The MagSafe adapter on it because I got a MagSafe charger for my um, phone. And I was tired of like taking the case off and putting it back on for the MagSafe portion to work. So um, plus like my case. I had like another one that was clear like this, but it was like turning yellow and I got it from the Goodwill anyway, so um, And plus it was like kind of like weird and loose already, so I was like whatever it's time for like a better case anyway So I got this guy and then I heard that pop socket came out with MagSafe pop sockets So I always like whenever I drive in my car and I'm using my navigation um, I have like that thing that's on the dashboard where you put your phone in and my pop socket always makes it pop out like sometimes like my phone will just lunge at me while I'm driving and it's so scary and crazy and also dangerous so um, then I'd have to like take off my um, my phone case so then I can just stick it on there to make sure it doesn't fall off which is probably another reason why my case is probably super loose because I always taking it on and off but now I have the pop socket so um, this was normally a plain black one when I first got it today but you're able to change out um, your little pop socket thing and I have like my little evil eye thing that's my favorite so um, you have your phone case and then this just sticks on there like that which I think is super duper cool so um, I got this guy I thought that was very exciting <laughs> I love it you can even if you don't have a iPhone 12 I don't know if the regular 12s do or if it's just the pros that have the MagSafe thing um, I think the 12s do too but you don't actually need to have a um, an iPhone 12 to be able to use one of these there's like an adapter that you can buy and it's essentially a magnetic sticker that you stick onto either your phone or your case which allows the MagSafe things to attach and I thought that's super duper cool you can also use the MagSafe um, charger with your phone too as long as it has the wireless charging capability and you just have that magnetic thing and then everything just like sticks so I think that's really cool so the other thing that I got too, I just saw this came out recently. I don't know exactly when, but I got uh, one of these wireless charger things. 
And recently I've been trying to like do more stuff like in the car, um, or like not in the car, but like while I'm out thrifting. And um, that just like kills your battery sometimes when you're constantly using it. And I'm always trying to charge it in the car, but you know, sometimes you just need a charge. So I got this guy, which I'm pretty excited about. And I'm like <laughs> trying to open it. How does this thing go? Okay, so it pops open like that. So he is a little MagSafe battery pack. And this will just magnetically stick to the back of the phone and charge it, which I think is super cool and very innovative, I feel like. So uh, I do know though that I have to charge this up first completely before I can use it. So I will go ahead and charge that. The only lame thing is that um, I don't think this comes with a charging thing. Yeah, it just comes with like the paperwork and stuff inside, but it doesn't actually come with a cord. Though I do have a cord and stuff that I can use that came with my phone. So I will do that. But I wanted to unbox two more things with you guys as well. So I'm really excited about this thing. Can't wait to use it. It's actually like feels really nice. I wish this had um, the capability to charge wirelessly too, but maybe in the future. Um, okay, so I have two things that just came today, and I don't know if I'm gonna keep both of them um, or put any up for sale during a live sale or in the shop, but I have two items right here. Oh, also, uh, I am having a sale in the shop um, right now. I was, it was supposed to end today, which like for me right now is Monday, um, but for you guys, it's probably gonna be um, Tuesday, the 17th, I believe. But today, while you're watching this, is actually going to be um, National Thrift Shop Day. And Depop, I think in honor of National Thrift Shop Day, decided to do free shipping for the 17th, 18th, and 19th. So since Depop is offering free shipping um, within the U.S. for items or orders $40 or more. So it could be a singular item or it could be a bundle as long as it totals $40 or more at checkout. Uh, they're offering free shipping within the US. So I think that is amazing. And I wanna, of course, extend the sale so you guys will save even more. So uh, check it out. Um, my Depop link is down below in the description box. Or you can just go to itshatering.com if that's easier too. And I have a link on my website that brings you to Depop, um, my shop. But let's open these guys up. I'm really, really excited. I love sourcing online for you guys too. Like, late at night, I'm just like <laughs> sitting or like laying down and like look looking for these deals. <gasps> Ooh! Okay, so here it is. Um, it is a Chanel key case. Oh. It's cute. It does have a little bit of wear to it, which is to be expected, but I think a lot of these things are a little more cosmetic that can be fixed. These indentations, I mean, are they're, they're just gonna be there, but that's just how it is anyway. Like, that's how the, um, it's, it's it'll probably happen eventually anyway. Um, plus this is a vintage piece, so it's okay. But just use a little bit of a color touch up, and other than that, um, just maybe fix up some of these little rougher spots. There's like a little bit of um, like leather kind of like rubbed off right there, and also along right here. But we have ways to repair that. Um, the serial number though was like cut out for whatever reason, so that's no longer there. But I do know that this is an authentic um, Chanel piece and it is gorgeous it's really really cute i actually already have a chanel key case um i was thinking about maybe giving this to my mom but i don't know we're just gonna fix it up and see um this something like this is super easy to repair um and i should do you guys do you guys want to do a repair with me on this one, I don't know. We'll see. I haven't done like a handbag rehab in a hot second. So I think this might be fun, but sometimes it takes, 
it's like hard to film those things especially like right now um because i've just been all over the place just running around like a crazy person so i don't know anyway the other item that i have is in this box which i am really excited to open and this one was a little bit of a struggle actually to get um uh, because when the seller i think i don't know if this is exactly what happened but when i was purchasing it originally um it was like at a really 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 good price and then i bought it and then i think the seller accidentally put like too low of a price um so they canceled the purchase and then they relisted it later on in the day and then i saw it again and i was like wait a minute this is the item that i wanted to buy before um, and they listed it for um, a little bit more, but it was still kind of an okay deal. So I was like, you know what? I really like this piece. So let's go ahead and do it. They did an amazing job wrapping this. Like, I don't even know how I'm going to open this thing. Did you guys see Narwhal um, going through buying me? Narwhal is working hard. Where is the hole for this thing? I'm trying to figure out, like, where... They like taped it up like so intensely. Like they just use tape on this whole thing. It is just taped up. Okay, so I imagine maybe it goes like this. Is this the center? Can you guys hear Narwhal? Narwhal is um, replenishing his water supply. Which I think is so cool, so that I don't actually have to, like, do anything with Narwhal. Like, if he needs um, more water, he can go ahead and do that himself. Uh, I think I'm breaking the box. <laughs> Literally like 30 minutes of me trying to open this package. I apologize, you guys. This person used a lot of tape. They did an amazing job packaging this. I mean... Oh, there we go. Okay, I think I'm just gonna have to cut it open. I just don't want to accidentally cut the item, you know what I mean? Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm so excited. Okay. So here it is. It's wrapped really well. Oh! Do you guys see? Wait, hold on. Narwhal is going to drive by. Do you guys see him? There he is! Oh, I love him. He's so amazing. He's literally revolutionized, changed my life. So, um, Narwhal, again, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for sending me over this little guy because my life has not been the same. And I, amazing. <gasps> they sent the card, which is so nice. I love cards. Thank you so much for your purchase. I hope you love this Fendi wallet, Elizabeth. Oh, thanks, Elizabeth. That is so sweet. Well, now you guys know what it is. It's Fendi wallet, but it comes inside this little baggie right here. And let's open it up. Okay, we're opening this up together. <gasps> it is so cute. Okay, so first of all, it comes with um, the little Fendi card thing right here that just says the stuff about the leather and all of that. And then here is the wallet, it is beautiful. Oh my gosh. It is so cute, the leather is amazing. Here's the little, um, looks like care card. Oh no, this is the, um, this is the, like the card that for purchase, or the, pur the, the tags. <laughs> it retailed for 850. Um, it still has one of the, little Fendi little pocket protector things inside of there. Um, here is the Fendi Made in Italy tab. And then the serial number is right there. And then if you can see in that little corner, there's a little Fendi 
um, tag, and then underneath, it has a little serial number on the thingy right there, so super duper cool. I love it. So this is actually a little, it's a little wallet on a chain. Um, you guys know how obsessed I am with tiny bags and the tinier the better. It has this dainty little chain that you can actually remove if you wanted to and just use that as a wallet. But then if you wanted to carry it as a bag, you totally have that option. And I am obsessed. Look at that. You guys, this is so cool. I'm so excited. <gasps> this might be something I'm going to have to keep for myself because this is so cool. I, I actually I like the color. For some reason, I thought it was like a pink when in, in the photos, but it's actually like a tan and then like a nude. So it's like not even pinkish at all. It's like definitely like a tan camel color. Oh, I'm so excited. Ah. Okay, anyway. Um, Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm like literally a hot mess today. Uh, I've just been running around like a crazy person, literally. Um, but I'm super duper excited. I'm going to um, get this stuff kind of put away really quickly because right now I'm going to um, go walk the dogs and then I have to come back, edit um, this video for tomorrow for you guys. And then... I am, ooh, don't, don't want to film, do I need to film a haul? I might do a quick haul as well when I come back as part of this video, so, um, I don't even know what's happening with this video, this video is like kind of like a hot mess, it's all over the place, but I think I need to film a haul for the portion where we went thrifting, so I want to show you guys what I ended up getting, um, so, actually, yeah, let's do that, I'm going to leave really quick, but it's going to be a second for you guys, so I'll see you guys again real quick. Guys, I am back home, and I'm going to show you guys what we got in this video. Plus, I did also go thrifting this past weekend for some items for the live sale, which was on Saturday. And most of the items sold already that I thrifted for that live, but I still have a few things. So I'm actually going to show you guys in this video, because the other things have already been... Um, set up to be mailed out and I no, I no longer have them with me here so um, I'll show you guys what is still available so if you see this video and see any of these items that you um, may be interested in uh, send me a DM or you can watch the live video I will link that right here um, the live sale video if you guys want to see um, the items and the prices are there in the description box as well if you guys want to check those out so um, but first let me show you guys what I ended up getting from the store and this is okay so this is super duper exciting um, I've always wanted one of these pieces and I don't know I feel like someone made this I don't know if they hand made it or something, but her name is Jennifer But she this little sleeping cat is so gosh darn cute. It's so adorable I love it. I don't know. It's from 1995. So it's technically vintage. I think um, I've always wanted like one of these to put um, underneath the TV. We have kind of like a ledge under the TV and I kind of just wanted to put one of these there, um, like a cat or an animal. Like this one is kind of in honor of my late cat, Jack. Oh, I love that cat. He was amazing. Um, they do not look the same. Jack was um, an orange and yellow striped cat and this is obviously like a white one, but until I can find one, this will represent Jack, but this one is so cute, and I love it. I've always wanted, like, one of those, um, like, animal, like, those animal statues, especially, like, the big dog ones that kind of, like, sit at attention like that. I think those are so super cool. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> this video is kind of like a hot mess. I'm so sorry. Um, and I know there's, like, so many sounds in the background. Narwhal is mopping the dishwasher is on but it's like so hot and this is like the coolest place downstairs right now so um we are here working i have like my whole computer set up right here i'm gonna edit after this and then um list stuff for the sale so don't forget to check out the sale depop it's gonna be amazing okay um so i showed you guys the cat sorry my battery died also too um but let me show you okay so i was super duper excited for this um i've always wanted one of these like decorative objects like this and this is one from this is a target piece um and it's 
from Studio Mickey. And it's just like a marble, I call it a marble rainbow. <laughs> and I think it's so cute. So I'm very excited about it. Um, I think I'm gonna put it somewhere in the living room as well, like probably like on a stack of books or something. But I think it's super duper cool. I love stuff like that. And then last but not least from today's um, little shopping trip, I got a, I got, I had to get the Harry Potter Golden Snitch uh, clock, which is so cool. I hope it works. It was a little pricey because it was like 20, I think it was like $25. How much was it? Yeah, it's 25 buckaroos. So, um, I'm supposed to like unscrew it and then attach everything and all that jazz on the sides of this. But I'm gonna need, um, yeah, my nail is not doing the job. So I'm probably gonna have to get a, f I think it's a flat head screwdriver is what it's called. And then, but what's super duper cool is that this opens up, there's a clock. Um, I hope that I can figure out how to work it. And all that stuff. I actually hope this actually works. So I'm gonna have to like read the directions, but it has like the little wings and stuff inside. And I actually want to put this in the library because like my theme for the library is kind of like the Gryffindor Commons area. Like that's like my made up theme that I have in my head. Like in my head, like that's what it looks like. But like, I don't know if people get that vibe when they actually see it. They're probably just like, uh, what is happening here? And I'm like, it's supposed to be Harry Potter. But yeah, so got that, very excited. Hope it works. I'm gonna ask John to help me um, put batteries in it. <laughs> anything with technology, I'm always like, I always defer to John, like I don't know anything. But he's the one, he's like the keeper of the batteries. So I'm like, John, I need batteries. So I'm very excited about that golden snitch clock. There you go. So I got those items. Now let me show you guys what I got from um, the day long thrifting extravaganza from Saturday, which was actually yesterday's video. So I'm gonna have yesterday's thrifting video linked. Um, it was like my whole entire sourcing day for Saturday to shop for the live. And then these are the items that I still have available that did not sell. And some things are actually pending still. So um, yeah. <laughs> okay, first of all, um, I did get this really cool projector. It's by a brand called Ragu, which we like all laughed at because it's like Ragu with the sauce. And we're like, oh, we didn't know Ragu also made projectors, but it's, I don't think it's the same brand. Uh, the, this thing does work, though I had John check it out. Again, the IT guy, and it works, and I'm really, really excited about it. So, yeah, like it's, um, he said it was like 720 is the resolution or I don't know something and I was like that's cool I have no clue what that means but as long as it works I mean it was 20 bucks and then I had a coupon so it was extra 20% off so it was like what two it was like $16 for a projector that works I mean I like to me that sounds pretty good so why not I think that's awesome I actually want to see if I can connect this um, thing to my laptop and get it to project and then like I'll just close the curtains right here and I can like watch stuff on the thing behind or on the curtains behind my t like, the computer when I'm sitting here oh my gosh I would literally never leave here I would always want to work here at night um then the next thing I have is I got this super cool this is a um coach dinky and it's vintage it's made in usa and what's super duper rare about it is that this is in this two-tone colorway it's in the black and the brown and um usually they're just all one color monotonal so this was a very exciting find i am super duper excited so if you guys ever see like vintage coach vintage coach is highly desirable especially on the resale market there's a lot of um resellers that look for these coach bags and a lot of like buyers people love them um i love them and i know a lot of you guys do too you can see the coach creed right there i know it's a little hard to see but um made in the united states of america so very happy to have found this guy. That's how that looks right there. I'm actually probably going to list that tonight to put it in the sale. Um, 
Our next item is this Kate Spade Saturday satchel. I love Kate Spade Saturdays. Um, Kate Spade Saturdays used to be like its own separate entity, but it's been like slowly incorporated back just into the regular Kate Spade brand. Um, but I don't know, they're, I feel like their bags were a little bit more fun and whimsical, and they took a little bit more chances with the styles and silhouettes than the regular Kate Spade. Oh, actually, I feel like regular Kate Spade also did. But I know I felt like it's just more casual. Like this is just like a nice, casual, fun bag. Nothing too crazy serious about it. And sometimes like regular case seed bags could be a little serious too, but they're also, I don't even know what I'm talking about. But I don't know, the brands, the, the, they were just like two separate, kind of like a brand within a brand type of deal. Um, anyway, so there you go. Cool Kate Spade satchel. I thought these were pockets. They are not. They are just purely decorative. And <laughs> the dishwasher is so loud. And then here is the interior. Um, just a couple little marks. The fabric is pilling a little bit. I gotta get my um, little fabric shaver thing to take all that stuff off. But it's not in bad shape. So there you go. There's that. Then, I also did find these Ray-Ban glasses, and these are Club Masters that have a prescription lens inside of them, so um, you can just have the lenses replaced, either with just like the regular glasses, or you can do um, sunglasses, or like the uh, prescription sunglasses as well. So these were a pretty cool find. The glasses, like the lenses themselves, or the frame themselves, are in really, really great shape. Even the lenses are good, but I mean, what what are the chances that you're gonna have the same prescription? But I mean, anything's possible. But I got that, so that was a cool find as well. And up next, I got this, um, this is an ALC, so a little crossbody bag. It's so beautiful, you guys. So pretty. It's made of this red snakeskin leather. Beautiful gold strap for the crossbody. It just has, uh, and it has like this really cute decorative ring on the front. Opens like this, has a magnetic flap. And then the inside just looks like this. Has has a little tag that says made in Italy. And then the interior. Start to dry them up. No well's done. And then the inside is just a black suede. So it's like very luxurious. It's made really, really beautifully. And then you can just throw the chain inside and then you can use this as a clutch if you wanted to um, go that route. So you can carry this multiple different ways. Um, and then if you wanted to also carry this bag kind of like, um, like as a shoulder bag, you can actually just crisscross the chain a couple times on here. around the top flap like that and then now you have a little shoulder bag so it's really really cute look at that it's adorable so we love that you can also um attach like another chain to it if you want like more of a top handle style because it has these d-rings in the inside and you can definitely go that route as well so you can just you can give yourself more carrying options with this bag if you would like and it would be very easy to do so there's that, our little ALC snakeskin bag. Okay, now these two are like pretty cool. Um, there's this one right here in this Louis Vuitton bag. And I believe it's called the Florentine, I think, belt bag. I might be wrong, but it's really cool. It's just this Louis Vuitton pouch with a belt attachment. Um, the size of the belt is the size small. But if you um, aren't someone that wants to wear it like around your waist or anything, you can definitely just wear this um, kind of like across your chest. Hold on. I think I have this kind of messed up. How does this go? Okay. So you can wear it like this and just wear it across your chest like that, which I think is a really cool way to wear this as well. This is how I would wear it. And I feel like a lot of people carry their... Uh, belt bags and stuff um, like this as well. So yeah, there you go. Look at that, I love it, it's so cute. Um, there you go, here's the inside, right there. And yeah, it's in really, really good shape. And 
says Louis Vuitton right there. Here is the little date code right there. And then the size is right here where it says made in France, size small. Okay, then last but not least, this one is another really, oop, <laughs> dropping stuff. Now this one is very exciting. So this one comes with a box, Chanel box. This is actually, um, also from fashion files so here's like the fashion file like authentication serial number and all that stuff on the side open it up like so and here it is inside of the box so it comes with like um oh this is my receipt from when i bought it but this is the, the the ribbon it comes with all the paper and all that stuff and the bag also does come with the original dust bag and here it is Oop, it's backwards and here she is in all her glory this is a chanel um walk so it's the wallet on a chain um this one is in black lambskin it used to actually be navy so this was actually professionally um re-dyed so it is now black you'll be able to see the original color when i open it right here so um as you can see underneath right here uh you can see the zipper is still in navy um and unfortunately like they like it's kind of hard to dye the zipper teeth and like the hardware and everything so it's still navy but it's pretty close to black you can't really tell unless you look really hard um here's the crossbody chain on the inside and here's the original where it says chanel right there it's kind of like um dyed over but you can still read it then we have our made in france is right there and then our serial number is actually down here in this corner right i don't know is it popping up it's like right there i don't know if you can see it but yeah it's super cute um i already have this bag actually otherwise i would definitely be keeping it for myself but um yeah i already have one so i'm i got this for you guys if anyone is interested um this one is still pending though so i think someone is interested in this bag but wanted to definitely show you guys since i still had it in my possession it is beautiful here's the back there's like a little back pocket right there as well and yeah it's just a beautiful bag i mean i had to show you guys and I'm so super excited about finding it. But that is the end of today's video. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me today. Again, happy National Thrift Shop Day. Check out the Depop Shop. I'm gonna have it linked down below in the description box for you guys. Again, it's gonna be um, all of the older items are already marked off. They're 30%. They, should, they have a little yellow um, tag on each item that is older with the discount already applied newer items do not have the discount applied yet but for newer items it's going to be 20 percent and then it's going to be free shipping for orders 40 dollars or more um that is within the united states and the sale ends on august 19th 2021 and yeah that is going to be the end of the video i love you guys so so much tune in tomorrow for a new video at 7 a.m and uh, our next live sale is going to be on friday again they're every friday and saturday at 10 p.m pacific saturday time i would love it if you guys joined we have so much fun and i get a chat with you guys and i it's it's i i, I really like it I, it's like a new cool way of like, communicating with you guys and it's in real time you can ask me questions and all that stuff and it's just a blast so anyway i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys all in the next video all right bye